Writers, does anybody have an idea for a story? How about uh, this time travel ad? Guy writes a classified that reads, Want it. Someone to go back in time with me. This is not a joke. You'll get paid after we get back. Must bring your own weapons. Safety not guaranteed. I've only done this once before. I want to find this guy. You know, see if maybe he believes in this stuff. I don't know. I think it could be funny. You want to do it? Can I get a couple of interns? Help me with I'll the do research. It. Me, do, please. Me. All right, give me the lesbian and the Indian, and I got a story. You know, it seems like at this point in our culture, time travel has become so ubiquitous of a story element that it's just, it's not surprising when it shows up in romantic comedies anymore. It's so what? <laughs> it means we, showing up everywhere. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah ubiquitous. <laughs> you say it the first time. <laughs> now, now, let me ask you something, sorry. I was curious about this. Now, it features people on a road, young people on a road trip, one wearing skinny jeans and, and Converse shoes. And it's produced by the Duplass Brothers. Yeah. Does that make it by default a mumblecore movie? Uh, no, because I think there's a lot of qualities in mumblecore that are definitely not here. Mumblecore is traditionally not really very scripted. Like uh-huh. most of it is like kind of improv. They use non actors mm-hmm. in them on the whole. I mean, there's a lot of quality. They're done for a super low budget. This is obviously more of a professional yeah. Hollywood production because it's way, script, way scripted and good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well said. The Duplass brothers have gotten to the point that happens to every like innovator when Hollywood goes, You want some money to come join us or what? <laughs> and they go, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta admire those guys. They've really done well for themselves, especially to get to this point. Well, yeah, um, I think like Mark Duplass is the more recognizable because he has become really kind of the actor yeah. of the two as well, and he is, uh, if not the star, then certainly the like the He's focus, the, the focus here yeah. of Safety Not Guaranteed, which is based on a uh, a real classified ad that was taken out in a magazine that said, "Wanted somebody to go back in time with me. This is not a joke. You'll get paid after we get back. Must bring your own weapons." I've only done this once before. Safety not guaranteed. Now, if I have any disappointment about this film, it's just that this wasn't a documentary. Because <laughs> I had heard the well, story that's where Don't it was, worry. I'm I heard, sure it will. I'd heard the story where it was like, oh, investigative reporters find the guy who wrote that ad and then hook up and find out what his story was like, dude, I don't totally want to see that documentary. Would you have been happy had you just sat there and it turned out to be Catfish 2? <laughs> no. No, I would not. Well, that wasn't a documentary. <laughs> that was what we call bullshit. <laughs> hey, I, I would have been cool with that. <laughs> that movie scared the shit out of me. <laughs> scared me only in the thought there might be more movies like this. <laughs> coming out. But no, here uh, the 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 people in question, the investigative reporters, is a young intern named uh, Darius Britt, played by Aubrey Plaza, who's been popping up lately a lot here and there in the background of other films. I love her. And she's really cute. She's got such a distinctive face that you're like, she really does, who yeah. is that girl? And she's, well, it's she's Aubrey, hilarious. it's uh, yeah. it's it's uh, Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> yeah, and, she's, and she's hilarious. I think out of everyone who tries to do this deadpan type comedy, I always think she nails it. You know what? You're You're right. I mean, even when I go like, oh, hey, she is doing this again. But I have to admit, like, yeah, but she does it really well. Yeah, you know, because a way of keeping it interesting. Because yeah, I was really worried about that, too. I was like, oh, don't just play the, the same character over again. Where I was like, oh, okay, you're taking this somewhere else. Good. Yeah, no, no question. And she's uh, there with uh, uh, Karen Sony, who's a new actor, plays a very nerdy uh, Indian <laughs> Indian guy. He's like, who's just like, he shouldn't be going on this trip. Like, he is like, he's going straight through. He's got his whole life planned through his doctorate. He is not going to talk to girls. He's not going to do anything but focus. And he's on the trip with her and, and, uh, Jeff, uh, the boss, basically yeah. the one guy with a real job for this. Yeah, these, the these interns who are working for him. Uh, yeah. Played by Jake Johnson, who you've probably seen play in well, a lot of different Girl. films. Yeah, he's on New Girl. He's been in a lot of different movies mm-hmm. as well. And he's just going out there because he wants to actually hook up with an old girl from high school who he got a spectacular blowjob from. Well, that's, well, that's, <laughs> that, that's what it's about. Like the, the, the movie, what, what, what makes this, one of the things that makes this movie good is that there's all these little surprises that come. Like mm-hmm. it starts off like this is all the characters' motivations. And you find like, well, Okay, this is their other motivation, this secret mm-hmm. motivation. And him being their boss, you know, a reporter, kind of a hardened reporter, um, the guy's kind of a douche. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, he I mean, is a douche. He's, 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 he's in kind of he's, 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 yeah. he's just a straight up kind of yeah. selfish. I mean, I don't, I don't know. He's not mean, but he's just very selfish, selfish and self absorbed. Which is which is why I really related to the guy. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, man, you know what? This guy, yeah, he's a douche, but. I, I know there's something something else going on inside this guy that you know he's a good guy you know you just got to deal with his ash holelessness every once in a while but hey 
I got friends like this. All uh, they, they, they they surround me, and I'm they're you know, ubiquitous. And, 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 I, and I guess <laughs> there you go. And yeah, that that too. <laughs> See, I, I won't go so far. I, I really to like say, him. Yeah. I won't go. I won't go quite. He's a good guy, but he's not a bad guy. Well, I, hell no. I he's a guy. What, yeah, he's a guy. Yeah, what he's, makes him interesting is that yeah, although he is a douche at first, <laughs> that he actually has an arc and a character. Yes. He evolves as a character, yeah. which is the last thing I expected. It's the last thing that to happens do. with a character like that. Yeah, exactly. They, they're usually there as a device, you know, to, to say the, the asshole is yet really funny things, yeah. which he does for most of it. Mm-hmm. And then when he has an arc, it's like, wow, mm-hmm. that's so satisfying to do yeah. that. But, but he's not the only one, which is also great oh, about I know. this well, movie, because yeah. everyone does. Everyone has, like, an arc, and it actually comes to a, you know, a fitting in where you're, you're, you're not going, oh, whatever happened to that other person, you yeah. know? And, and obviously, whoever was writing the script was paying attention to that for the first time in a long well, time. The centerpiece of the story, of course, is Aubrey Plaza and Mark Duplass. Now, Mark Duplass plays the guy, Kenneth Calloway, who has written this ad, and he, it's not a joke. He is not, like, totally insane. But your question is, is he still crazy? And she has pretended to be someone who is honestly a- answering this ad and wants to be his assistant, wants to go back with him in time, and she convinces him, and it's clear pretty early on that this is going to be, like, she because of the person that she is. Like, she was genuinely curious. She might have gone out if she didn't even have this job right, to go right. find this dude. That she kind of has his again for this guy, but she's going, uh, no, stop, stop. Stop liking this guy. He's mm-hmm. got to be crazy. As the film goes along, it's asking you, the audience, how do you feel about this? I mean, he's got to be crazy, right? But And he is crazy about a lot of okay, stuff. Okay, thank you, because I'm yes. like, don't you sit there and say, like, <laughs> yeah, but, well, maybe he's crazy. But I'm the, like, no, no he, this dude is squirrely. He, well, he's he squirrely, <laughs> but is he crazy about the time travel thing? Well, you know, the thing is, you find out, it's like, before you can even get to the time travel, <laughs> where he's crazy about that... There's a bunch of other issues he's got going on. He definitely has some pretty serious problems. And no, no, it's serious enough to where you know I'm like, okay, is this going to turn into a catfish or something? Right. I mean, is is this going to go south really? How quick? scary is this guy going to get? Yeah. With his I mean, because there's a great there is a great blow up moment that this guy has to where I'm like, wow, they really got this character nailed down tight because. I've seen this type of person. I've I've been around this type of person. Usually when I'm hanging out with you guys. But you know, it's like I'm like, wow, you know, this just that that just spark of rage out of the fucking blue. I was like, man, this this is a really convincing character. They really did their research on this type of person, you know, yeah. Who's yeah. Ob- who's obsessive with with something like time travel, and yet uh, uh, Darius is herself kind of fucked up. Like mm. she is like she's a little kind of mini hipster. She doesn't know what to do. She comes from a background where she didn't really. She's kind of a misanthrope. She doesn't really like people very much. Right. I don't know why she wants to be an investigative reporter, but you know, <laughs> I get like maybe just to, to study people, but not yeah. really get involved. Yeah, she has a sort of like yeah. cold clinical view of right. humanity and this guy and the way that his like he himself is fucked up but he's also got this totally kind of neat and fun way of dealing with the reality is pretty charming to her she's into it well with her deal I thought you know I, I thought they kind of established that she was just an intern like she was an intern well, who was just doing she was just there because it was just something to do right you know well, and uh, at a magazine so most yeah. people who intern in a magazine want to pursue being a journalist well I thought, I thought it was pretty obvious that she didn't really care you know she was just, uh, she yeah, was she, just there you you're right. She comes yeah. across as a loner and a misanthrope. Mm-hmm. And here he is, pretty much the same thing, mm-hmm. just in a different way. And that's you could see how that would draw them, at least draw her to him. Mm-hmm. So it's that, that kind of like, you know, that quirky romance where they're both kind of nuts, but they work together. But it's also one where, you know, she's lied to get to get into his good graces. Because when Jake Johnson approached him, he's like, get the fuck off my property. <laughs> but her, you know, she's all acting intrigued. You know, she, she's intrigued by it. She's mysterious. It's the kind of thing that would suck you in. Like, if you were doing something, a girl could start acting that way. Yeah, She does everything that a, a woman can do. A, a, a woman who's been blessed b- with having a vagina. She knows how to As control. As opposed to the other yeah, ones? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's about the ones that have theirs manufactured. I've had a pretty wild life. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the thing is, is that, yeah, I mean, she uses that to her benefit like any woman would. And it actually works on this guy because, I mean, come on. This guy ain't getting laid, you know? <laughs> yeah. but the thing is, is that, you know, I, I, did, I did love that character chemistry this this chemistry that they end up having 
is like the type of chemistry that I loved uh, about um, that the Bill the Bill Murray Scarlett Johansson uh, Lost in Translation. Okay, yeah, I I really noticed like you know these are just two people that you know they're they're from two totally different you know worlds, but they managed to find something about each other that that you know they can understand. And you know it really, it really movie really worked for me, which and I loved. Both yeah. relationships that are going on in this film, both but those two together, and then uh, Jake Johnson and uh, I, I don't have the actress's name here, but he's yeah, in a the, rela- the old girl starting that relationship with the old girlfriend. Mm-hmm. You're nervous for one of the characters in both ones. Like, mm-hmm. like I, I'm nerv- I was nervous for Aubrey Plaza's character because you're like, is this guy going to go crazy and fucking kill her? Uh, you know I what? Mean, that, at that, first, that's something. No, well, I mean, I at, never lost that feeling. Like in the back of my head, like. Well, cause I don't know, know that this might might not happen. How are your hamstrings holding up? Real good. You're pretty impressive with a handgun. It's a superlative performance under simulated pressure. Our chemistry is starting to build. I really like your intensity. You're like no nonsense. Well, there's no sense in nonsense, especially when the heat's hot. Exactly. In the other relationship, you're worried for the new girl because you're like, this guy's just a douche. Yeah. And he's like, like, and you know he's going to fuck it up. He's got to fuck yeah, it up. Yeah. All right? He's, he's programmed gonna, to this, fuck it this up. This woman yes. is awesome. You're like, wow, she is so cool. She's like, like I'd marry that girl. Seriously. Yeah. And that's what this guy's going. He's like, I've never actually met anybody that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> makes that hormone start pumping out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening to me? Yeah, you're right. Well, the, the, one of the things I thought was the beauty of it is like, you know, with Aubrey Plaza lies to get in in Mark Duplass's good graces and starts to fall for him. Now, you know that the other shoe has to eventually drop with the like, you know, the revelation of the lie. Right. And I've seen that just that the ball fumbled on that so many times. Yeah. It just so ham handed. I was if like, just I don't even want to see it. I don't, I don't want to. I, I don't want to have to deal with this part. I've been like this movie and I hate that it's got to come to that. And when it eventually does, there's no getting around it. They handled it in a way I was like, you know what? I'm with this. Well, they, All right. they don't spend a third of the movie wringing their hands about right. it is one of the big things where you're like, you know it's coming and you know the whole third act is going to be them, now they're mad at each other and it's not. It's the end of the movie pretty much. Yeah. You know, you're, was, like, yeah. you're like, oh, they deal with it immediately. Yeah. And, <laughs> I, and I was cringing because the movie was so good up until you realize, okay, here comes that third act yeah. that we've all seen We're before. dreading. And we are really like, please, don't fuck this up. Please, and they don't. I like this movie. They yeah, don't. And, 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 not and, only do yeah. they not fuck it up, but they add the best, like, like, nod to people like us <laughs> you're like oh you got dragged to see a romantic comedy I'm sorry well here this is for you guys yeah. <laughs> I was like that was awesome I can't believe they went there it really, it really was it's, it's a great date movie it really you, is you know you're absolutely right it, it truly is in every sense of the word I mean, yeah you come out it'll be original it's something you can you'll talk about it's not like one of those you just forget it as soon as you walk mm-hmm. out yeah. it's like that was that was actually pretty awesome I'd like I, to go see it again I would say this movie it, it it benefits a lot from really layered characters and performances by the actors. Like, I'm, I'm starting to become an out-and-out Mark Duplass fan as a performer. Yeah. I mean, you see him in here playing a very kind of serious character, and then you watch him on The League, where he is so funny. The TV show The yeah. League on FX. He's hysterical on that show. I, I can't believe it's the same guy doing both parts. Wow. I think he's super talented, and obviously as a writer uh, and a director as well, although he did not, in fact, director write this one <laughs> he's just on the the giant list of producers I, I, I gotta say there is there there's a scene and if you haven't seen it, it's completely out of context but where jake johnson just has a, a big bottle of scotch that he's drinking and crying while riding bumper cars and oh yeah all I, could, I, I couldn't just get out of my head it's like that's making me think of Jason Murphy. I know it's going to say. Exactly. I did, totally had replaced him in my head. With Crying Jason while, while riding bumper cars. Okay. Because a bottle of scotch in one hand oh, and yeah. a cigarette oh, in the oh, other. The okay. I was like, wow, I must have missed that night. <laughs> when Jason hits rock oh, bottom, right. he goes out to the big fun oh. amusement park. But you know what? Hit that guy, when him and the, and the uh, nerdy Indian, Indian guy. kid get together, yeah. I was loving that part of oh, the yeah. too. Yeah. I was like, this, this could have been a whole separate movie, too, with yeah. himself and and you know it 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 worked because you know it's it's another it's another one of those relationships where you know you're like you're scared that somebody's gonna get hurt yeah and it's the Indian kid you're <laughs> like you know you're really you're really kind of worried about him and uh, you know like I, I was surprised that they actually did a really good job with not having that Indian kid just be background or just I be, know. be that character that just 
He's just there to, to say some funny lines, but you forget about him. He's not really that integral to the story. Where they actually did make him really integral. They they made him really interesting. And the actor who played him, I mean, hey, I hope I hope that see I hope I can see more of him because I thought he was he was he was really perfect for for who, who he's portraying. At, at, at the end of it all, I felt like you know what. I want to see more of these characters. Like, I, yeah. I wish the story could continue. Like, somebody made a part two. Like, or, what they or a after series, this. a sitcom or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of fun. There's a lot of, like, where you can go in your own head and decide what happens next. Yeah. And have a lot of fun with that. Because it could be all kinds of stuff. Um, such good performances. Such f- clever writing. If I have a, a, a negative to say about this film at all, it's only that I think some big audiences might be a little let down by the pacing of it. Because it's mm-hmm. definitely more meditative in some points. The characters are so real as to maybe be boring to people who are expecting the type of brash, loud, man-child things that, guess, that audiences I mean, are getting used to. And that's not a criticism towards the movie, sure. just in the sense that it's not going to get the type of wide release that I would hope a movie as good as this I, would you know, I'm, I'm, honest, I'm honestly hoping that this is one of those sleeper hits because, I mean, it, it's one of those movies where you watch and you're like, man, you know what? I want to be surprised if this gets like any kind of nod at the Oscars. Because I think it's that well written, it's that well directed. I mean, it's just just a, it's just a charming story, you know. I, I hope it gets some kind of you know some kind of credit at some point, you know, because I thought it was like wow, it's, it's it was really one of those surprise movies that I honestly wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. You got a mystery, you got love, you got suspense, you got time travel, you got laughs, you got wanted what more could you want? <laughs> yeah. it, it, you it got really, wanted, you got, yeah. you've got the, 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 that weird chick from 24, yeah. <laughs> Mary Lynn Rat- Rajkum. Oh, Rajkum. was she on that show too? Yeah, yeah she was. Okay. Yeah. But once again, so, hey, so you know, special props to Aubrey Plaza. I mean, honestly, where I was really worried that she was going to just play the same character that she does on Parks and Recs. Yeah. I mean, she really, there's parts in this movie where she's really, you know, getting emotional when it comes to those two characters in her acting where I was like wow okay she does have some real like serious talent as long as somebody's directing her the right, the right way and I, I hope to see more of her in movies I mean yeah, yeah. and both a, in a general zone and in a specific <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. calm down Eric, square feet of her skin I won't, I won't argue with that <laughs> yeah this reminded me of the, the like older uh, indie comedies I used to really enjoy seeing before they all became kind of generic yeah. and I, you know what if you're somebody who's like ah uh, who thinks they don't like indie comedies? You probably, if you liked Little Miss Sunshine, watch this. This is this is actually like a, a real, the real deal. Um, and but on top of all the things we said, yeah, I, I give it a full price. I actually liked this better than Little Miss Sunshine. No, I did too. Okay, because uh, no, 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 I liked it much. I'm saying I liked it much better. Whereas I thought that was a good movie, but that cribbed too much from other smaller yes, comedies yes, that we yes. had seen. I just they managed to get wide distribution for it, so a lot more people saw that than those other films. Right. This actually seems like a really original thing. I mean, even the things you do where you're like, oh, here we go, and then it subverts those and finds something new and convincing to do with those story elements. So yeah, it's a it's a full price movie to be sure. Um, and I hope to see more of pretty much everyone involved yeah. with it. Yeah, I hope people really go out to see this and start talking about it and get the word of mouth going because, I mean, this is a movie I, I, I just want to recommend to everyone I know who just enjoys watching films, especially about, you know, characters like this, especially dealing with this kind of subject matter, which is great, and, you know. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm giving it a full price. And the, the only reason why I probably was like, not I'm not giving it a better than sex is because it is one of those stories where, you know, you do see where it is going. You know, sure. you, you, you already know beforehand what's going to happen, how you know, at some point, every, every one of these characters is going to have to come to this typical resolution but like I said it's so well written it's so well done that this this, this director these, these, this writer did it fucking right and it, it is one of those movies where you know this is the, the example of what an indie film should be it's everything you want out of a really good fucking indie film and I almost hope that like on the DVD there was like a short film about the further adventures of, of uh, the actor Karen Sony, the little Indian guy because <laughs> yeah. if there's a character who kind of fades into the back background a bit at points it's him because he's kind of I mean he has an arc but it's the smallest of the primary sure. characters and it, like a lot of times he's just there for the background jokes which are generally funny <laughs> they but, are. but They're you know would you like to see a little five minute story of like the stuff we didn't see on their big party <laughs> night with him <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the mission has to do with regret mistakes no matter how tempting it will be we're never ever gonna say hey leave your Star Wars figurines in the box because it'll be worth like hundreds more so, Kenneth, 
Why are you looking for a partner? The world is mostly full of jank holes. Take these creepy glasses off and put these on you. That dude right there crushes chicks. I believe that there are purists out there, and that's why I put that ad in the paper. I think you're ready. I trust you. You should. There are people following him. There are really people following him. This is intense. We're going 15 miles an hour. You come to that launch site, you take my hand, and I'll show you who can't time travel. What's your story about? I don't know anymore, actually. It's my hope that if you're watching this video, trouble has happened.